it's late spring iris are just coming out and the native white dogwoods are done and Cherokee Brave is done but here's a more rare variety called Stellar Stellar Dogwood now in full bloom when the others have gone past in the back is Ohio Buckeye Briatii Late spring, there's not a lot of perennials. The bulbs are done, but there's some great flowering trees. And this is Ohio Buckeye Briatii. Looks like a tree covered in pink gumdrops. Weeping Katsura, always beautiful. Nice weeping shape. Weeping Copper Beach. When the leaves first come out, they are much more of a copper color, and then they turn burgundy. So this adds a lot of color at this time of year. It has that first copper color, then this deeper burgundy. There's some green in there. But the newer leaves are more copper. Very unique color. Dawn Redwood, beautiful color, green color, it's two of them. And another Ohio Buckeye, Briatii. Bleeding Heart. You can see why it's called Bleeding Heart. And it is already setting seed. It does produce seedlings, but I would not call it invasive. It is short-rooted, easy to control, and many of the seedlings revert back to all white. So you might want to select the ones with more color, or if you like white, you can keep some of the white seedlings. Intermediate iris coming into bloom. Looks like a mix of two kinds of perennial geraniums. The beautiful short iris. And also blooming now is Chianthus, Chinese fringe tree, Chionanthus snow flower, anthus meaning flower, and it is a beautiful white flowering tree, very fringy, very white.
a money plant is blooming. It's a biennial. So it grows leaves, just foliage the first year, and then it flowers in the second. Tall iris, it's an early one. This is Crandy starting to bloom. Looks like the deer nipped a couple. But this cranby, you can divide. And that's about five feet, four and a half feet tall. Dramatic plant. Then you have the hostas. The azaleas, the early azaleas are just starting to stop. Perennial geraniums. These will bloom all on and off all summer. Easy to grow, not invasive. Perennial geraniums. Small flowers, but bright fluorescent colors. Shiraz Japanese maple. Mix of burgundy and pink. Very dramatic. Jordan. Japanese maple and I've looked at how the camera picks this up in the computer screen and compare it to real life it is this bright it is very very bright some and substance hosta getting some morning sun but it's mostly under that Asian pear, Korean giant. For most of the summer, it does great there. And a late azalea. This one was getting too much shade, so I moved it here, so it's small. Beautiful color. Japanese maple. They are great to plant in the garden because they have that contrast in foliage. And this is a very expensive new grass found in Mongolia. It goes great against that burgundy Japanese maple. So beautiful. Look at the beauty of that. Well, actually, this is just yard grass. And I planted some plugs in there just to use to fill in little holes. But I was shocked and pleased. But how beautiful the flowering parts are. Not seeds yet, but just very beautiful against the darker color blowing gently in the wind. So a garden is full of surprising beauty. This is Key West. And behind it is Gotham with those nice ridges, very distinct hosta. Japanese maple. I love how they send out their new leaves have a reddish hue to them. Add some color. This is Amsonia or Blue Star. This is Cat Mint. Blooming in late spring. Will bloom most of the summer, especially if you cut it back. There 
are a lot of iris that will bloom in late spring. Some of them are already past. It's June now. This is a great plant for late spring, Cranby. Grows up like rhubarb and flowers like rhubarb. That's about six feet tall. There is a caterpillar that will eat the leaves. So it's one of the few perennials that I will spray with an insecticide. But it's beautiful. It looks like a gigantic baby's breath. And in late spring, we have goat's beard. This is perennial geranium. This is another perennial geranium, Biocovo, or Biocovo. Forms a nice mass of color. And yet another. And even another. They increase, but I would not call them invasive. Also in late spring, we have the last of the peonies. This is a great dramatic perennial for late spring, Persicaria. I have found the red variety of Persicaria was a magnet for Japanese beetles, but this one seems more immune to that. And in the background here, another perennial geranium. I think this variety is called Wargrave Tank. and Baptisia is starting. And in the background, the first Hemorcalis, early bird orangeade. And this is a blue violet colored perennial geranium.